One of the most amazing and useful tools to come along in Photoshop for years is the Content Aware tool. This amazing tool makes it so easy to get rid of things inside of photographs. However, it's kind of hit or miss. You apply Content Aware Fill, it either works perfectly, sort of perfectly, or not at all, and there's not much you can do about it. But now things have changed inside of Photoshop CC 2019. We've got some massive updates to Content Aware Fill, as well as an entire new panel and a suite of options. We're going to jump in right now and have a look at those in depth. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. So today we're continuing our series of going in depth into the new features inside of Photoshop CC 2019. If you're not already aware, I created one video which has an overview of the new features and I'll give you the link underneath. And now we're going through these exciting new features one by one and looking at these features in depth, how they work. So right now, today, we're going to have a look at the content aware fill. And uh, some people are going to say this is their favorite feature. Some people are going to say the frames. It's kind of a toss up. I'd love to know in the comments underneath, are you a frames or content aware fill? I think after this tutorial, you're really going to love content aware fill. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to use some photos. And today I'm using photos from Adobe Stock. Now you might be using your own photos or you might be using stock photos and they might be almost everything you want but you want to just kind of change something. Say, for example, here, we're going to get rid of these olives. So if you want to grab some stock photos of your own, I'm going to give you a link underneath where you can get grab 10 free images from Adobe Stock. All right, so let's go and we got this beautiful, delicious looking pizza. However, I'm sorry to break it to you guys. I'm not a huge fan of olives. So I want to get rid of these olives. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my lasso tool here. Okay, so I'm just going to make a quick selection around these olives and if I hit the shift key, I can add to that selection. So I'm going to quickly select all of these. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to wait. Okay, so all of my olives are selected. Now to get rid of all the olives, we're just going to shift delete and that'd be shift backspace on Windows and we're just going to choose content aware and we click OK to apply content aware fill. And it's going to get rid of all these olives. However, notice we've got like half leaves and things like that in here. Let's undo that. We now have the ability to do this much better. And let's go up under the new option here under edit content aware fill. Now what happens when this opens up? Notice that we've got two options. We've got one on the left and one on the right. The one on the left is showing us this is our image that we're working with and all the green areas are the areas that are being sampled to apply onto here for our content aware. Now we can move these windows around if we want. Make that one a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to hit the space bar and just drag this over. Okay, so if I click and drag now, what I can do is I can exclude areas that we don't want to be included. So I'm just going to go around here and I'm going to exclude these areas of these leaves. So I'm just going to paint over these. And now as it updates over here, we get a preview. And also what we can do is we can open this in different ways. So I'm going to choose to output this to a new layer. And then that way, our content aware fill is going to be applied to a new layer and not just applied directly to the object. So we click OK to apply it. And notice that all the olives are gone now. And I can hit Control D to turn off our selections. And notice there's no leaves in there. And in this example, we're going to explore some of the other features a little bit deeper. So the first thing we want to do is make a selection. But this time, rather than making the selection with the marquee tool like we're used to, let's go here and we're going to grab our quick select tool. And we're just going to make a quick selection around our subject. Now that's good enough. So let's go under Edit, Content Aware Fill. All right, there we go. And we can see what we've got. Okay, let's look at some of these other options. If we click on our little lasso tool here, you'll see some options here. We can expand or contract our selection. Now we can make the selection larger or smaller. And this is the area here that we're going to be replacing. So why don't we just expand it? by three pixels by clicking it once and notice we're already starting to get a great result. So this is a really nice feature. So rather than make this loose selection, we can pinpoint it right down to the area we want to replace and that gives us a lot less room for error. Okay, so this time what we've got a lot of perspective going on. 
notice here we've got this perspective shape going in but we want to replace it right where that perspective is so i do know we've got an option here called mirror so rather than try and rebuild it here why don't we just get rid of this whole side and let it use this side and flip it so it's going to allow it to mirror so let's just grab our selection brush make it nice and big and i'm just going to paint out so we take away everything on the right hand side so now we're just sampling from the left notice it's starting to get better already let's take it away from the middle and once again we're starting to see some more improvements but what we want to do now is allow it to mirror so we're going to turn this mirror option on and notice immediately we get a much better result now the other thing we can do too is choose scale Scale is great for when we're working in perspective because it enables us to take a sample and that sample can get larger or smaller. So in situations like this, sometimes it can work really well and sometimes it doesn't. It's just a matter of trying it and seeing what we get. So why don't we turn on scale right now? And in this situation, I think it is kind of helping a little bit. So what we want to do though now is we want to look at some other options over here. Let's look under the color adaptation and let's turn this up to high. That's looking pretty good. And maybe we could even try very high and see if it looks better or not. I think I like high better. So we're going to choose high. Okay, so we're most of the way there. That's looking really good, especially for not doing any manual work right now. We're just doing it all with content aware. We've got this reflection there and I'm not going to get rid of it here. What we're going to do is apply it and then we're going to come back in a second round. So what we can do here is output to a new layer and I'm just going to click OK. And now it's going to output that to that new layer. So we can go around and we can just do some masking if we want to get this exactly how we want. I'm just going to turn off the selection, go back to our background. And let's take a look at this reflection. And this should open up some new options. So I just clicked with that quick selection brush. So we've made that selection. Edit. Content Aware Fill. All right. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Not bad. Obviously, we want to expand it. Make sure you grab the lasso tool to expand it and just click on expand. So it's looking okay, but we've got some dirt in there. I just really want to have this water reflection. So why don't we grab our tool here and our masking tool. We're just going to turn this up and I'm just going to get rid of the ground in here. So we're not selecting any ground. We've got rid of it in that part. And of course, let's get rid of it over here. All right, so that's definitely looking a lot better. Now what we can do too is we can zoom in. I'm just pinching to zoom and let's have a look and see where we're still getting a little bit of that ground there, which is workable. It's not terrible. I've got a little bit there. Why don't we just get rid of that? And I'm looking at the color. I'm gonna get rid of this darker color here and just let the lighter color reply. It's getting there. I think we could be okay with this. Let's apply this to a new layer by clicking okay. Okay, so we see the reflections here of the clouds. That kind of just fits in. We're looking right at it, but if you weren't looking at right at it, I think you would find that this would work quite well. So let's turn these on, and there we go. Okay, so if we look at this, there's before, and there's after. So I gotta say, that's pretty good for content aware, Phil. Don't forget, you can use your other retouching tools to go in and do some fine tune adjustments, but that certainly gets us a lot further than we've got in the past. So if you want to try this out for yourself, why don't you grab some images from Adobe Stock and play around with them. I've got a link underneath where you can get 10 free images. And also if you're working on your own photos and retouching them and you'd like to sell them, I'm also going to give you a link underneath where you can sign up, become a contributor for Adobe Stock, get your images in front of millions of people and make some extra money. So I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into Content Aware Phil, part of the series on the new features of Photoshop CC 2019. If you did, smash that like button into dust. And if you enjoy these kind of Photoshop tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now, become part of the cafe crew, and also hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new tutorial. So anyway, I got a question for you. My question is, what is your favorite feature inside of Photoshop CC 2019? Is it frames? Is it content aware fill? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments underneath. I've got lots more tutorials coming soon, but until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.